Hello and welcome to another update. In this one, we'll be covering the whole front. Starting out in the Luhansk area, we see that the Ukrainian forces are attempting to attack in the direction of Chernobylivka. And this is, of course, to try and cut off the highway between Svatova and Kremina. Of course, there are some reports that say that Ukrainians have already captured this. However, constantly there are reports of fighting to the west of it, which means that it's most likely not true. Moving on to the Solodar front, we see that the Russian forces are continuing their attacks in the direction of Silch, as well as to the west of Solodar, and most importantly by the 7th Salt Mine, which is the main base left for the Ukrainians in Solodar. This area here is similar to that of an industrial area, as we can see it is a hub for trains to transport the salt from the mines, and then there is the mines on the ground. And most importantly, these buildings here are very significant as it is difficult to destroy them. The Russian forces are trying to attack from the southern area. As we can see that to the north there is there's the Mokroplutva river, which forces the Russians to attack from the south. But at the same time, with the freezing temperatures the past days, it's most likely frozen. So it's most likely traversable. However, it is not a sustainable direction to attack from as they do not have the northern area. Most importantly, they will be fighting to the west to try and cut off both the railway and the highway to the west. And at the same time, we see reports that the Russian forces are attacking Blahodatne, as well as Krasnogora and Paraskovivka, where they try to completely cut off the highway to the west and establish control over the northern area of Bakhmut. As for Bakhmut itself, the fighting continues to the southeast of the city. This is most likely a concentration of Russian forces to attack in this direction, as it is the furthest place in Bakhmut from the Solodar front, and this would most likely be to keep the Ukrainian forces here and distract them from going north to help the Ukrainian forces defend against the Russian attacks on Pereskovivka and Krasnohora and Blahodatne. As for the Klushchivka area, the fighting continues to the north of Klushchivka. There are no reports from the southern axis, but most likely the fighting is ongoing here as well. And it seems that there has been reached a stalemate as the Russian forces are unable to advance against the Ukrainian defensive positions by Klushchivka. As for the Donetsk front itself, we see fighting continuing in the direction of Vodian, Pervomaisk and Nevelske, as the Russian forces continue to attempt to gain control over the west of Donetsk, and at the same time the fighting continues in the city of Marinka. And then finally on the Saporizhia front, which is very interesting as Russian forces have started attacks in the direction of both Hulyaipole as well as Orihiv, as these are the main supply hubs for the Ukrainian forces on this front line, and if you remember the video where I drew a bike, and I realized since then that it's most that it's actually more accurate to draw a e-scooter just like this and then someone is standing on it to ride it there we go so this is actually way more accurate than a bike and that's it for this update thank you all for watching and have a great day